so welcome back to my vlogtober day 13 <laughs> i want to do some haul like some halloween things that i bought from the other day and i didn't buy like new decorations for halloween because i'm moving out as i mentioned so i just bought mostly like halloween snacks or something i'm gonna use my old halloween decorations i still have from the other years so i bought some ships like cute spooky designs like in a store called hammer everything mostly i've got from hammer some spooky mellows soft sweet and very scary <laughs> i mostly bought like sweets i guess like for the halloween party i don't know if we're gonna spend really at home because actually we plan to go out this year but let's see we can still decorate some things so i got some chocolate chocolate lollipop kind of i'm oh, sorry there's some cute designs there's like a skull like a bat and a spider so got some other chocolate like ghost shape little pumpkin hat i think that's about it for the snacks I also bought like some other things like Halloween bonnet and some oh and some gloves for the winter to come look at that so cute kind of fitting to my trick or treat what I'm wearing and also that's the most random really Halloween related but I bought some new hair colors because like it's been too long since I dyed my hair actually and it's like so blonde now and I want something new and I bought like from Directions hair dye and like white daffodil it's like pretty yellowish also fluorescent orange color and then sunflowers I was like orange so I want to kind of mix these three colors maybe I'm also gonna vlog it again like I didn't do like a hair dye vlog for a long time first of all I also have an appointment at the hair salon because I want to bleach my hair here again and I think I just gonna dye my hair though at home which I always do my sister always does that and yeah and cut it a little bit so that's all I've got from yesterday's haul I guess so if you've been following me for a while I have did like vlogtober also the past years and I always decorate my pillows with Halloween cover and that's what I'm gonna do and like I want this place to look more Halloween because I didn't do so much yet and it's already halfway there no, you can see it it's the one you remember this one spooky fest and I'm in cosplay comment down below if you know which character I am from Stranger Things it's easy simple outfit girl version I guess because I have long hair actually I have the Hellfire Club I actually have it but I'm gonna wear this today Stranger Things you're gonna have a Stranger Things 4 marathon with our friend Lucas because I haven't watched it yet 
and we're almost halfway through. We've been watching like binge watching Shader Things this couple of weeks. So hey guys, I'm leaving the country. Just kidding. I'll be Jojo Verity today. And and pack our suitcase. Because you know by now that we're gonna leave. And I thought why this I don't know, put the books in here, right? So what books do we have here? We have the my favorite books of all time. The there was before Shadow Moon. This yeah, we have all of them. Mortal Instruments. These are the original three. That's supposed to be three, but then Cassandra Claire did three more books from the Mortal Instruments. Like all the books we've read, also. Yeah, from Susan Collins, also one of my favorite books. The Hunger Games. The books are better than the movies. And this one is coming out. It's gonna be a movie as well. And I work tomorrow again. I'm done at the hair salon, as you can see. I actually only bleached like the yeah, top of my hair because it was kind of getting dark already. And it looks matching. It's really so bad, my hair already. Right yeah. And I cut it if you know it's a bit shorter. Yeah. I'm gonna say that now. You know, I'm gonna dye it. So funny, because after the color, it's gonna be turned blonde anyway. Yeah. The same woman also did my hair. She said, oh, we won't let it stay blonde, but it won't be forever color, like orange or red, always face. Been a while. Huh? Yeah, it's been a while. Kind of been busy this year. It's kind of different than last year, I think. This last year, I think we only worked like five hours. The time was. Was it? Yeah. I think we had more time to put in this year. Kind of like busy working, and we work like many hours also, like ten sometimes nine. So and you have different times sometimes. It's kind of hard to film. Let's go.
guys, I'm back home and I just wanted to say, remember the other video that I got out and I talked about, I've got a new place, so we're gonna move. But I guess what, it wasn't that 100%. I actually thought it was because when we visited that place, to, I, I don't know if he's, I think he's not the owner. I don't know, maybe he's just, he's like the landlord. I thought we like own the place. Anyway, he told us yes. You gotta send the contract soon enough. And yeah, when do you wanna move out? Blah blah blah. He asked things like that and said, yeah, sure. We can meet before, so we can sign it everything. And then suddenly, three days later, waiting for a contract and we didn't got it yet. And so I think he changed their mind or something. He's like, our uncle kind of help us with this stuff, and he talked to them. And yeah, so to say that they wanted like new papers from our salary or something. So it's kind of disappointing because we really like the place. Like if you saw my video, I showed you around the place. It was a pretty convenient place also for us. I loved everything also. So it's kind of sad I wasn't 100% sure. So today we, we had another appointment for a new place. And it's no harm in trying, right? Like if you don't got the place, and of course you need to try looking for other places. But this one wasn't really for us. So the world was kind of small, with like two people, like me and my sister, were to move out. It was only like not that many rooms, 1.5. It's like not even doors. Like everything is together. Also, there was no kitchen, really, like really, really small. They had a big bed. That's all. Like really, to be honest, happy place. Like, there's no harm also in going there and seeing the place, but it was even worse than the pictures. That's more worse to sort like personally. So yeah, it was not a good place for us. So we gotta keep on looking and hopefully we gotta find a place really for us and start like the other place and say, yeah, 100% sure. So we can't be 100% sure, so it's better to not hope, I guess. But still, yeah, it's kinda sad because we really like the first place that we like had an appointment and like we like the place and everything there but yes when meant to be so anyway kind of busy day today i guess right now it's almost like 9 pm now and so more about some horror content i've got some little haul for you guys like i bought some horror movies because online is hard to find sometimes like on netflix or prime i mean some movies you already saw or some aren't that good i don't know it's like so we wanted to buy some that we could watch this couple of days <laughs> until Halloween. So first I'm gonna show you the DVDs and <laughs> kind of zombies. Zombie movies. And first one is Dawn of the Dead. I really love that movie. It's actually one of my favorites. And it's also director's cut. And it's a pretty good zombie movie. Also Night of the Living Dead, it's a pretty old one, uncut version. I know what year was that one. Oh, Thomas Avini here. Yeah. I guess it was in the 70s, right? Wasn't it? It's like pretty old, it doesn't say there. But anyways, also a remake, because there's an even older one. It's like pretty, pretty, pretty old. That's fine. It's like a new version, uncut version. It's was like something new since <laughs> the old movie. So, pretty good because like a combo, like two for six or more, depends, I don't know how much, it I think this was one like six for two movies already, so I want to get it like, I don't know this one freaks, it says like sci-fi thriller, I just saw the actor Emil Hirsch, but I don't know, I think you can find that on Netflix, somewhere I saw it was on streaming services, and then Little Monsters, actually also zombie, movie but like comedy one like with Lupita and Josh Gad that's actually a pretty good one it's about like like kids they're like school trip like we, I don't know like I don't know I think I watched it last year but this was a good one and then this one it's I don't know this movie the prodigy the prodigy I don't know, I never saw this one, but it's a horror movie. And this one I did like. 
We summon the darkness. It's going to be one hell of a party. Actually, I like this one. It's a pretty good movie. It's like about metal. <laughs> it's like the beginning is like something like a metal concert or something. And yeah, it was, it was a pretty good one. I think I also saw it last year, the first time. So I really want to get this one. And I do want to buy more Blu-ray. I know I bought DVDs again. I actually want to buy more Blu-ray. So this was it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna attend our birth, <laughs> our cousin's birthday, like late celebration. His birthday was on October 8th, but we didn't time celebrate, so we're gonna celebrate it tomorrow. Tomorrow's October 22, and yeah, maybe we're gonna film a little, I guess. Also, our cousin's place, like we've never been to, had a new place. It's the first time we're gonna see it. Also, kind of excited about that. Yeah. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow.